So I just got down in the parking. Uh, um, I'm in the city <clears throat> from Ny of Nijmegen. Uh, I'm gonna go get some, like, yeah, it's a really late breakfast actually with Mike here in the city. And then we're gonna go to the gym later on uh, with a couple of the other NEC players and the trainer. So I'll ask him if I can get some footage, but um, you know, no promises on that uh, back yet. But no matter what, you know, as I always do, I'll I will um, check in and let you guys know what I was doing. Uh, I'll get the exercises down and and kind of explain through them a little bit too. So I'm gonna go for breakfast uh, with Mike and go for a coffee. I need to edit also a football highlights video. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go do now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Megan, it's a few markets today, so that's pretty cool. Yo, I'm just heading back from the city now. Uh, gonna go get Aces from her work. Um, yeah, I just finished the gym training and then I went and had a tea and you know, I had to edit some football videos, some highlight videos that I had to send to uh, a manager. An agent so those are all edited up now I got one on YouTube I have to go get the other one on YouTube when I get back home um, and apart from that everything's cool I uh, did a good gym session today um, I'm gonna flick up a few videos of what I could get and then also you know speak through a little bit about what I did uh, in the session because I couldn't video so much because Mike, he got the time wrong actually today. The training started at 1.30, uh, but he thought it was 2.30, so we turned up a little bit late. We got there 10 minutes to two. It's lucky that we were actually trying to get there early, but uh, yeah, it's the way it is. We caught up and uh, we ended up doing a good hour, a little bit more. So. I'll talk you through the exercises and also get you uh, get a few videos up of the training as well of what I could get because um, like I said we're a little bit late so we had to catch up a bit and you know I didn't ask the coach the trainer there yet so yeah that's that's the plan that's what I'll do so um, yeah hey it's uh yeah it's later in the evening now but before I didn't get to film so much of the gym session uh, we arrived a little bit late there, so, you know, I didn't get the time to ask the trainer if that was okay if we could, um, video a lot of the things early on. So we, we jumped quite on, uh, right into the session and tried to get, uh, like catch up with the two other guys that were there. Uh, there are two other players from also NEC Nijmegen. That's where Mike, my friend Mike Den Heyer, he's also playing, yeah. so... Yeah, to talk you through the gym session, uh, we started with the normal, it's like a, a dumbbell workout, a bit of a circuit for a warm up. So you go through two sets of this dumbbell um, workout 
and I think I had about 12.5 kilograms. Uh, just one and you hold it in front of your body and you start with doing 10 squats. So it's just, yeah, good technique as a warm up. You get through that, you go straight into a Romanian deadlift. So the dumbbell comes down in between your legs, kind of. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm explaining that so well, but it comes down in between your legs. You're holding it with both arms. And you're just doing like a Romanian deadlift, you know, engaging the hamstrings, engaging the core. Then after that, uh, you bring the weight back in front of you with both arms and you're doing uh, 10, 10 lunges. So it's uh, five on each side, 10 lunges. Then um, you're going straight from that. So it's like a bit of a superset. So you're going straight from that into a, a clean. So you start with the dumbbell down by your waist and then you use your hips and your core to get it up. And that's uh, one, so you do five of those. And then you go straight into five presses. So you also use your hips and then straight up with the dumbbell as well. And that's, um, so you do that on both sides obviously. And that's one set. Uh, what you do in between those sets was there was a little, um, it's like a platform so imagine like a, a platform and it's got uh, two wheels on it so it can move forward. You're putting your feet pretty much on uh, this platform and it's uh, attached to an elastic for a little bit of resistance. And you are walking out in a push-up position. So you're walking out, uh, that was about five meters and you're going out and then back, out and then back and then rest. Then you're going straight from that, that's core, you know, engage the core. Then you're going straight from that into uh, what you call a Russian core twist. So you've got the, yeah, just like a plate out in front of you. I think it was a light plate, like five kilograms. Uh, maybe, yeah, five or ten kilograms, I think. So the weight's straight out in front of you and you're twisting. You know, you've got your feet under something that holds your feet, so it holds your weight a little bit, leaning back deep, and then you're twisting. And we did um, five on each side of that. Then straight into that, we came over to like uh, a bar for like a pull-up bar. And he had these things where you could put your your elbows into the, yeah, into something that like a loop, you know, so it was hanging off and you could just hold, hold yourself there. And then you had to try go for 10 to 15 reps of your knees coming up to your chest with that. So that was one set of a warm-up. So we went through that twice, starting back with the dumbbells again. So, so it was another squat, Romanian deadlift, lunges, kettlebell cleans, kettlebell press, uh, that rolling hands out walking, hands out walks, the Russian core twist, and then the uh, knee to chest, you know, with your elbows in the... Um, and the loops uh, I don't I don't have the word for that but maybe it'll come later so that was that was the warm-up that was quite tough um, I can get a lot stronger my core at the moment so it's good a good start and that's definitely something I can get better on so you know it's it's exciting to see where your improvement and where your weaknesses are so that's something I can definitely get better on so that's good after that we moved into like a a more of a power power training so we started just straight from uh, three long jumps as long as you could and he gave us a little it was like actually an arm sweat bend but you know it was just a little marker so he marked a line on the floor you had to make one two three jumps for length and then you put the marker down behind your heel so uh, it was a little bit of competition and uh, to see who could kind of go the furthest and to improve your your jumps uh, it was also a superset so we went straight from that we went into some push-up claps uh, you're pushing up and then touching your chest uh, my wrist I still have a little bit of pain in my wrist which I'm still uh, working on my rehabilitation for that so what I would do is I got the um, yeah, like these handles, so you don't have to put your hands flat. You can hold onto the handle, and you do a full push push up, and then a half one, and that's one. So then half, and then two, and I did uh, six of those. 
Uh, and then we did three jumps for height straight after that. So one, two, three, as high as you can go and just working on the power in your legs. We went straight from that into a slam ball. So it's a big weighted ball reaching up, using the core, engaging the core and slamming down uh, from yeah, the top of your toes and then down as hard as you can. And you wanna try catch that and you do that four times. Uh, we did that uh, three sets of these exercises. So then we went back through from the long jumps, push-ups, jumps for height, and then the slam ball. And we did that uh, three sets. So we obviously did that one more time. Then after that, we went into some a little bit more weight. So we we did um, it's like a squat. It's a squat hold. So they put the bar. The bar, so it's obviously on your back, and then this, like the safety rails on a position. Yeah, it's not like a full squat, it's more like a half squat. And the first one you do just with the bar, just to get warmed up a little bit and get into the technique. So you're down and then you're holding for one second, and then you're, you're pushing up, you know, five times. You go straight from that into uh, what they call no reaction jumps. So you're with a partner, I was with Mike, and um, what you're doing is you're coming into like a squat position, and when he says no, then you jump. Uh, if he says go, you have to wait. So you have to wait for the no, and they're trying to trick you all the time. So you're doing three jumps when they say no. So it's a bit of reaction and just getting the like a bit of power out of the squats, you know? So straight from the squats to these no reaction jumps. Uh, then I went into ring push-ups. So they're like gymnastic rings and your feet are on a box so that you're able to maintain like a straight, strong position and your hands are like in a push-up. So you're doing push-ups pretty much with your hands in the, in the rings. Uh, the rings are low, the box is up, so you're in a flat position. So you're doing, um, so you're doing 12 push-ups, and then as well afterwards, you're gonna, gonna try and do eight, so your hands are here for a push-up, in front to raise your hands to engage the core, but that was, that was really tough to be honest. Um, I wasn't really able to do so many of those i'll try and just get in like two or three so we went from that and then we went to ring pull-ups uh it's the same gymnastic rings extending out and then pulling up just like a normal pull-up but with rings and the first time i did eight of those uh we went through this superset five times so with the squats i did um started with just the bar then I went to 50 kilograms 70 kilograms 80 kilograms and then for the last set I did 85 the um, reaction jumps were the same uh, the ring push-ups were also the same just the core you know I struggled a little bit with and then the pull-ups I did eight and then the second set I did eight then I did six five and then four on the last set uh, just trying to maintain good technique and I had to push through it a little bit um, more of a mindset kind of thing you know uh, then uh, after that we went in to do a little bit of core so we went on this kind of like this mm, not a machine it's like a saddle seat so you're sitting on the saddle and then out comes your legs and then it hooks your feet in so that you're able to sit on the saddle and lean back past it so it's for your core so you're sitting on the saddle leaning back then they gave you like a 20 kilogram sandbag to hold on to you to hold on to so you're like maintaining this position for 20 seconds then you got the bag taken off you by your partner then you're sitting in this position and then you had to do five reps from here and then extending your arms out as you're engaging your core and keeping good control and you have to do five sets of five yes yeah, reps of this and we did four sets of this core uh, you know just resting in between and helping out your partner then we went in to do uh, like this power bike 
I got a bit of footage of this, so uh, we went into this power bike and it was just a 10 second maximum two sets and then they write down your watts and to see if you improve every week on your watts every week. So my <clears throat> my first set on the watts I did 1315 and then my second set was a little bit less and I did a, a 1150. So it was an improvement from last week when I was with them at the gym. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely can get better. You know, I'm still kind of learning the technique on this and you know, that's one to improve. And <clears throat> after that, the session was over with the, um, the trainer. Uh, but then me and Mike, we went over to do the pull-ups. You have like uh, these balls hanging down. So we did some pull-ups on the balls and I just did three sets. I did six and then uh, two times eight. So that was three sets all together. And then we were done. That was it. So... Um, yeah, it was a good training every week. It's good to get into the gym with a professional gym trainer like this, you know, to do these good workouts and then also to be with other professional footballers just to, you know, touch into base. It's always a good training and, um, like to get through the exercises almost because it's a little bit hard to motivate yourself to go to the gym alone. So when you're in a in a group or with some friends and with a trainer, it's always good quality. And that's that's the most important thing to keep the quality high. And it was a good training. It was a good training. Uh, that's it. I'm going to check out and uh, go to bed now. So good night, peace, and um, enjoy your day. Ciao. Oh. I run superstar.